Bats. Well, thanks so much for joining me, Wu. It is great to get to see you. Excited for the fight coming up. Just how are you doing today? Uh, I'm very happy to meet you today. And how are you doing? Thank you. Thank you. I'm doing very well. Awesome, awesome. And I know you've been uh, in Las Vegas for a bit now. Uh, just how are you liking you know, living in Las Vegas for the time being? So he said he was watching you to see you for a long time. How are you doing in Las Vegas? Yeah, I come to Vegas for the rehab on my knee, and I also train here. Very good training in Vegas, so the experience in Vegas is very good. Well, happy to hear it, and uh, glad that the knee's feeling better. I know that that was an injury you were dealing with. Uh, was that kind of a difficult process to go through? I mean, how, how was it overall? 所以他知道你膝盖之前受伤了，然后那这恢复过程怎么样？就是整个的恢复过程还顺利吗？挺顺利的，虽然就是有点什么吧，但是也还挺好的。<笑> yeah, the overall recovery experience is it's okay. Yeah, USPA, a lot of people helping me. Even this, you know, it's struggling from the injury. Yeah, back to train, but yeah, it, it's okay. Yeah, feeling nice and good now. I'm assuming. Okay, the joints are still good. 感觉应该还可可以是吧 ？Yeah. All right, excellent. Happy to hear it. And I know that before、uh, you were out in Vegas, Wu, that you were doing some training at Team Oyama, right? So, what was kind of the reason for making the move to Vegas? Was it because of the rehab, like you were saying, or was it kind of you wanted to change up the training too? 啊，他说你上次是在 Team Oyama 是吧？然后。上次训练感觉怎么样？然后这次是又换地方训练嘛，然后没什么。呃，就是一是要嗯想体验不同拳馆，然后不同风格，然后还有一个就是过来训练的话，然后就住的问题嘛。嗯，这是一个很大的问题
we need to training and for the upcoming fight. So that's okay. Yeah, got to do what you got to do. And I've seen you hanging out with uh, Mung Bo, you know, down in Jackson Winkin, just with you currently, right? So uh, Mung Bo, big fan of hers. I've talked to her many times. She's great. Uh, what has it been like hanging out with Mung Bo? Did you know her before uh, coming to the States? Or what is the relationship like with her? We've been know each other since we are teenagers for very, very long time. We are the closest friends. So we came to the U.S. this time together and trained together. Okay, that's very cool. I mean, it seems like you guys have a lot of fun. So I'm sure it's really nice to have someone you're that close with uh, with you abroad, right? Yeah, I'm very happy Meng Bo is together with me. If, if I come here alone, it's hard to me to train abroad. I like, uh, miss the Chinese New Year and uh, I will, yeah, homesick and uh, sad. Yes, <laughs> we don't want that. So uh, definitely good to have some companionship in whatever form it may be able to come in. But uh, I want to ask you about your nickname, Wu uh, Mulan. I think that's a great nickname. But how did this? Uh, how did this come to be? Uh, Mulan,他觉得你也挺好的,为什么他起的Mulan?就是因为我的一个教练,他就觉得我的长相特别像那个,嗯,迪士尼动画里的那个Mulan,然后,而且就是因为本身在中国Mulan也是个比较有什么的
Absolutely, absolutely. But as I mentioned, you know, she's coming up in weight for this uh, fight. And used to be a flyweight, which you did as well. Um, you know, having had some more time at Bantamweight now, Wu, do you feel like it's the right weight class for you? Or do you think maybe you'll try flyweight again at some point? Or just how do you feel about finding the, the right weight class right now? Yeah, uh, 135 is definitely easier to me um, in terms of weight cutting. But uh, I may also try to return back to flyweight, 125. But it needs to take a long time. It needs a process to let my walk around with to, to be get lower. So I, 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 I would think I'm thinking about that uh, maybe in the future. Of course, but I mean, hey, the less weight to cut, the better, right? <laughs> so, uh, and then I wanted to go back to uh, that big win that you had against Lauren Mueller. Woo, I mean, that was a really cool moment. I remember watching that one uh, in, I think that was the Shanghai card uh, in China, obviously. But when you got the arm bar, I mean, for you to get a UFC win and a finish in that fashion, like, how big of a moment was that for you? And when you look back on it, like, does it hold a special place uh, in your career? Uh, of course, I feel very happy and uh, excited. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, very, very excited. Yeah. 因为我第一场本身就输了嘛，而且是因为我柔术方面非常差，所以我第二场就是我赢了，因因为柔术，所以因为我的短板赢了，所以还是非常开心的。Cause I lost my UFC debut in Shanghai, and I am a striker, so jujitsu is kind of my weakness. So in my second fight, I win over my opponents by submission. That made me very, very exciting. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, I wanted to mention that to you because it was, yeah, you got the submission in that one when maybe you're more no, well known for the striking. So is that kind of something you want to do going forward is show off more of your ground game? Because, you know, it, it's there, but uh, maybe we don't see it as much as you want to show off. Yeah, of course I will try because we are MMA fighter. We need to be able to do everything, striking, grappling. So uh our goal is definitely win the fight so i will win the try to win the fight by any manner striking or grappling yeah whatever comes first <laughs> whatever <laughs> comes first we'll get the, get the job done but uh it's, it's funny woo like you're still very young you know just 25 and you know have already had plenty of fights in your career so i'm kind of curious you know going back to the beginning for you how did you stumble into uh, into MMA in the first place? I know a lot of Chinese fighters will begin with Sanda or you know things like that. Did you do any of that, or how did we get here? Sanda，kickboxing，then。transition to MMA. Mm -hmm. Okay, very cool, very cool. And I mean, it's one of those uh, mixed martial arts, I think, that doesn't quite get enough credit. And, you know, we don't see a whole lot of people outside of China kind of, you know, hone their craft in Sanda. Do you think it's something that is very important that maybe a lot of fighters should at least try and do, incorporate a little bit more in their game? So he said, just... 很多咱们的选手可能更重视，比如散打呀，或者站立，然后在你觉得应该这些开始练散打呀、站立选手应该更多的去尝试 MMA吗？我觉得应该去尝试，因为。
嗯，首先这个，嗯，这个趋势它就是这样的。嗯、然后，然后，而且我觉得其实 MMA 它其实非常有意思，也就是柔术，包括我非常爱柔术，我觉得这是非常一件有意思的事、嗯、为什么不去做呢 ？Yeah, I think, uh, the the Sanda kickboxer or the kickboxer in China, they should try MMA, cause first this sport is getting bigger and bigger, and、uh, secondly, it's a very interesting game, MMA. Striking, wrestling, jujitsu, and、uh, to me personally, I love jujitsu. I think it's very fun, very interesting. So yeah, it's worth to try. Yeah, and I I think I read online. Do you are you a black belt in jujitsu? Wu, do you have that yet, or is that the lies I'm seeing? Yes. yes. Okay. A blue belt. Okay, blue belt. All right. So still working towards the black, but that's still good. <laughs> so. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> All right, very cool. But as for things outside of Wu, I'm curious. You know, obviously MMA is a very life-consuming sport and career to take up. But what are some kind of other things, some passions, hobbies that you might have outside of、uh, punching people in the face? He <laughs> said, "Besides playing MMA, do you have any hobbies or interests? Do you do anything?" 哦、oh, ，就是我我我的话，我个人比较喜欢那个极限运动，我非常喜欢跳伞，嗯嗯嗯。然后我当时我想去，我还想去尝试那个潜水和冲浪，是我比较想做的事情。目前，嗯。Yeah, she likes a lot of extreme sports like surfing and、uh, how do you say that? Uh, surfing and the- Parachuting. I don't know. Just jumping from very high place、okay. with,、uh, yeah, yeah, and、uh, yeah, a lot of this, these things. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Very cool surfing, huh? I wouldn't have imagined, but、uh, that's very cool and definitely a very dangerous thing. I would imagine, but、um, awesome stuff, Wu. So I、uh, appreciate you taking the time. So I'll let you get on with the rest of your day and.、Uh, You know, big shishi for taking the time. Oh, thank you. Yes, of course. 